Hey everybody, it's PJ from Wisconsin Air Gunners. I'm working on a project today and it occurred to me that it might present an opportunity to show you something that maybe you haven't otherwise seen. So I was doing some disassembly and reassembly on an air rifle. And what I'm gonna show you today is how a precharged pneumatic air rifle actually works, like what happens inside it. So let's take a peek. Right now we're looking at a disassembled Karma Red Panda. It has an air tank in the front as well as an air tank in the back. And there are passageways, as you can see nipples there and there, which sort of allow the air tanks to communicate with one another. There's also regulators keeping um, bulk air separate from regulated plenum air. But um, once we're inside the gun, that's really where the magic happens. So let's take a look at what would happen in a typical firing cycle. This is your hammer spring tension adjuster. So your regulator pressure is set, your regulator shooting regulator is right there. So the pressure is set and depending on how much you either screw this in to compress the spring or leave it relaxed, when you cock the gun right here with the lever, that's going to cause the trigger unit to catch on the hammer. You move the cocking lever forward this spring is further compressed and it's ready to fire. When you push off the safety and pull the trigger, that allows the hammer to be pushed forward where it strikes this pin. Now that valve pin is connected to the actual valve seat. So this pushes forward and that allows regulated air to rush in there and then through that hole, which goes through a passage here into the barrel. In this case, there's a radial cutout, meaning it goes all the way around. And then that, which is behind the pellet because it's been seated in place by the probe, right? that pushes the pellet forward. So it's sitting in front of this area that blast of air goes in and pushes that pellet down the barrel and off towards the target. So that's how it works. You have tension on that hammer. It's released to slam a valve open. The valve closes. That's the end of the air going out. The air is transferred through the gun and that pushes our pellet or our slug down the barrel towards the target. When that happens in exactly the same way, time after time after time, you get a very consistent air rifle, which turns into a precise air rifle. And if you do your job and your scope is set up properly, that becomes an accurate air rifle. So short video today, but, uh, Something that, as I've been sitting here uh, pulling apart this gun, put it back together, uh, I thought might be of some interest to you folks at home. Uh, I hope it is, and if so, please give me that thumbs up and maybe even consider sharing it with your air gunning friends. Until the next video, everybody, shoot safe, shoot straight, and we'll see you around.